Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial on Teardown. In this one, I will show you how to import a vehicle into your Teardown maps. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is to go to Library, Home, find to where you see Teardown, right click, go to Properties, Datas, and by default, it's set to None. You want to set it to Experimental. And with that, let's go ahead and go into Teardown. And in Teardown, hit play, go to Mods. This is where your custom maps will be stored. Go to Simple House, make a local copy. And you are now done with the preliminary stages. You can exit Teardown and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now in order to get the semi truck into our newly created map in teardown we have to go back to the teardown game icon in the steam library right click go to manage browse local files go to mods asset pack assets vehicles land and find the dump truck you can see there's a Vox file and an XML document. Um, control, holding control on your keyboard, left click both of them, and then right click, copy, and, and the simple asset pack, sorry, the simple house which we created in Teardown earlier saves in my documents. So you go to documents, tear down, mods. This is the map that we created in tear down. Click on that. You can see there is a saloon car. We want to make a new folder for the truck. We can call it semi truck. Left click on it and now right click and paste those two selected items. Let's go ahead and go back into Teardown. Okay, in Teardown, go ahead and hit play, mods, click on simple house copy, edit, and we are in the Teardown editor. If you press F5 on your keyboard, it brings you into the playable world, so to say where you can interact with all the objects as if you were playing a level in Teardown. And to exit and go back to the editor is F4. Let's go ahead and import the semi-truck. We can go over to Scene. Click on this tab right here. Go down to the car group. And there is already a saloon car in the group, so we can just copy what it says here. So this is, the saloon car is an instance file. So in the car group, right click, go to new, and, and it might be tempted, tempting to click on vehicle or box file for the semi truck, but because this saloon car is an instance, we want to copy that. So we click instance, go down here, name, semi truck, you see it changes the untitled or the no-named um, instance file to semi-truck. Go to file, click on these three dots, mod, semi-truck, and the semi-truck US XML file. You can see um, it doesn't look like it copied correctly and I'll tell you why to the best of my abilities because I did not know how to code. The asset in which we copied the um, semi truck from is uh, specific to that folder and because the simple house copy is an entirely different folder it's calling to something that isn't really there so this is why we don't have this is why I didn't import correctly so we need to fix that we can delete that, go to file, save, let's go ahead and quit and exit teardown. Go to, if you go back to my documents, 
tear down mods simple house copy click on saloon car and the XML document right click on it open with notepad you could see where is it right here it is calling to the voxel file that's saved here in the simple house copy if we go back out one to semi truck I've got a semi truck us xml document and open um, open this file the same way we did with saloon car let me get both of them side by side this is the one that we can see the car whereas this one which we try to import we can't see the car if you look over here the file is calling not in simple house copy where the semi truck box file is saved it's calling in the asset pack which is in the local files in teardown and we don't want that we want it to be like um, and this is the saloon car we want it to be like this so literally just copying this but for the semi truck is how you do it so if we go back to semi truck where um, in simple house copy you um, it's right here we want to change this right here where it says assets vehicles land we want to change that into whatever name this folder is and in this case it's semi truck with the space between semi and truck so we can change that and then uh, backslash and now we want to copy this and paste it wherever it says um, basically this Okay, with all that done, um, there's one thing you don't have to um, change is up here. This name, you can name this whatever you want. You can just call it semi truck um, and make sure it's within the quotation marks here. It doesn't have to be this. This is just whatever the name um, of the object is. And if you want, you can mess with these settings here. Like for instance, you can change the sound, the spring, dampening, and whatever, but I'm gonna keep that the same. Now we can now that after we're done um, changing the where the this file is trying to get the Vox file from, we wanna go to hit save and click on pay, play and tear down. play mods simple house copy edit and click on car group new find instance and let's do what we tried doing before these three dots mod semi truck semi truck us xml and you can see it copied fine and um, Let's go ahead and hit F5 to see if it works, if we can get it and drive it, if it's destructible. And it looks like it is. And that's basically it. You could do this to um, all the other vehicles in Teardown, just following the same steps as we did with this semi-truck. Uh, one important thing to note that would make your life easier is that if I hit F4, uh, let's say I want to change the sound of the semi truck. You go over here. Um, yeah, let's say you want to change the sound. 
you can just alt tab and find the notepad symmetric file and where it says sound where is it you can actually change these settings while the game's still running you'll have to close the game and hit you can just hit save go back here hit play if I go ahead in the truck now I change the um, sound of the engine from my semi truck into a car and I was able to do that without manually closing the game and reopening it just by changing one small thing so that's really cool last thing to note is that we can, if we wanted to change for instance the color of the semi truck you can actually do that um, even without leaving or exiting the program so find where you save the uh, custom map which is remember in documents tear down mods and the simple house copy that we saved earlier find semi truck and um, if you have magical voxel installed this might be set by default but for instance if it's not you can just hit open with choose another app and you want to basically uh, if, if it doesn't auto detect magical voxel you have to go in manually click on look for another app and for me magical voxel saved on my desktop the artwork magical voxel and find the magical voxel application and you hit open and here you could see the box file for the semi truck so i want to make this a blue tab uh, i can just double click this square here and while holding alt on my keyboard click on the red you can see it selected that color you, um, this will be closed by default you click color to open it and now i can change the color of that semi truck to a nice blue I'll find a good blue here like that and here this is some weird color i don't want that so i can just hold alt left click it grabs that color you can change this to uh like a dark gray or something like that and all you have to do is i'll just go ahead and change the back of the trailer i want to change this color so holding alt left click grabs that color let's make it make it whiter like that and then hit Control s to save you would know if it's saved if this is no longer orange then you can close Go on the teardown, hit play. You can see it changed the color. Before it was red and now it's blue. And isn't that cool? You don't have to actually exit the game to uh, do these small changes like that. And it saves you so much time. And hopefully, you guys will find it easier to import vehicles in the teardown. Hopefully this tutorial has helped and I'll see you in the next video.